Hello everyone. My name is Hemu. In this particular lecture, we are going to see how we can do the installation of Windows XP in the VMware workstation. And we will in, in the same lecture, I will also try to complete Windows 7 installation in VMware workstation basically, right? So let's try to do this particular thing. So what I will do guys to complete this particular installation, you need a VMware software and you have to basically download the Windows XP or Windows 7 ISO image from the Microsoft website. And these images you can able to download over from the that particular website. They are available free to download. So now what I'll do, I have already downloaded these images guys. So for XP image, I'm going, I'm going to use one of the OBF package, right? So what I will do, I'll just select this OBF package and I'll just open with VMware workstation. Now I'll go here. Or oh, let me just do the installation of this OBF package. Because these are the pre built packages, guys. So you don't need to do much things. Okay. When you will do the installation, they will just got installed automatically. Only you have to just only you have to open these particular packages here. The installation of like Windows 7 is little bit tricky. So what I will do, I'll go here. where I have basically put, yeah, this is the Windows 7 image. So I'll go here and I'll, to install this particular Windows 7, what I need to do, see XP import is completed. You can go here. I will just change this XP. I will keep this machine in my VMnet one. Click on okay. And you can just power on this particular XP machine. This is the thing which you need to do with this particular XP machine. You don't need to do much thing here, guys. Let's wait here. See? You got this particular machine, right? You can go here. You can open the CMD. Run this command. IP config. and cpa.cpl go here properties tcp ip or you can go here you can configure the ip address manually 10.1.1.70 255 255.255.255.0 10.1.1.250 8.8.8.8 4.2.2.2 This is what you need to do the configuration here. Open the command prompt again. See IP address is done. Try to ping 10.1.1.1. Disconnect this adapter and reconnect it. Ping will start working. Minus T. Go with this minus T option. Open the command from your system. IP config. And you can see. I have VMnet one having IP to stand dot one dot one dot one. So ping to ten dot one dot one dot one and ping to ten dot one dot one dot seven zero with minus T option. Ping is working from here. 
so here i can able to ping but from here I, it's not working looks why it is not working because of my firewall okay because of my firewall so what i need to do i will go here on my main system control panel security windows defender advanced settings inbound rules add a new rule go with custom all programs define your protocol i want to allow let's suppose icmp traffic so we have icmp version 4 right next which local ip address does this rule apply to so local ip address is any and remote ip address you can define what are the range let me just go with any means anyone can able to ping allow the connection icmp allow as soon as you can see i have allowed this thing it is start working right because that was the setting which is not unable, enable on my system so now you can see ping has start working but well, this is as simple as that this is how you have to do the installation of this particular vmware workers and here we have a jump server ftp server so many servers are there which we can use for different different purposes now let me just show you how we can do the installation for windows 7 as well in the same lecture so for windows 7 you have to click on create a new virtual machine go with typical i will install the operating system later select here microsoft windows select here windows 7 64 next where you want to keep your windows 7 you have to select that particular place Let's say I want to do the installation into my SSD drive too, where we have all, uh, where I have all my VMs, right? Because I already have here one Windows XP machine. Now what I'll do, I'll here make one more folder, Windows 7. Next. 60 GB store as a store disk virtual is a single file. Next, finish, add it, give around 2 GB RAM, one processor, SSD netbook adapter. I want to put this on my VM net one, right? And I'll go into disk here. Sorry, DBT here. I will select use ISO for the installation and i'll just browse my iso file which is available on my cyber security hacking windows 7 iso click on ok click on start i finished the installation now you can see your windows 7 installation has been started now guys see let me tell you installation for windows 10 11 is also exactly similar you don't need to do anything much installation is exactly similar and i will cover this installation as well don't worry windows server 2019 installation also i will cover let's wait here see installation is started here you have to select the language to install english time and time and currency format so time i want to go with asia i'll change change maybe i will change later
now i think i have to select even though english united states is fine keyboard is english click on next install now time zone and other thing we can change later as well that's not a big deal accept the agreement next custom next it will start the start like copying windows files expanding windows files and all now this process will take some time guys so we have to wait here here we have to wait at least five minute guys So let me just pause the recording for some time until this particular thing is going on. Click on install. I will just cancel this install tools right now and let's wait here this process to complete. Now you can see after copying these files, see, completing the installation. So now it is going on and that process will, will go like that for the installation of this particular window. So we have to wait here. So guys, installation of these windows and other things is very, very easy and you will get a hell lot of resources to check how to install this particular windows in the VMware workstation. setup will continue after restarting your computer so now see it has just restarted starting windows let's wait here now here what you have to do you have to mention the username so let me just put the username as admin This is the admin PC. Next, type a password. Admin at one two three. Admin at one two three. Password hint. Admin at one two three. Next, skip. Ask me later. Change the time zone go down somewhere here plus five three so you will get here chennai kolkata this one next this is for home network public network work network you can mention home network let's wait here Now see, window is finalizing your setting. So we have to wait here.
welcome to the windows so we have installed the windows 7 ultimate and after that finally you can see i will get the login i will get the windows 7 screen here now what i'll just go into this screen resolution and i'll just change the resolutions to 1080 now you can see this is the resolution looks like and you can also basically customize if it is not able to fit in your window you can go with this as well 901 okay so guys that's how we have to do the windows 7 installation now the very first thing which you need to do you can go here ncpa.cpl you can go and you can basically configure the ip address here like 10 dot 10 dot 1 dot 1 dot 80 255, 255.255.255.0, 10.1.1.250, 8.8.8.8, and 2.2.2. Click on OK, click on OK, click on OK. And we are done with the Windows 7 installation as well. Now, if you will go here and you will try to ping to 10.1.1.1, ping is working even though you can also try to ping to 10.1.70 ping is also working for 70 so guys that is how we have to do the installation of windows 7 and your windows xp now what you can able to do here as well guys you can also download the necessary softwares now how you will download these necessary software so the best thing what you can do you can go here you can able to change your adapter see I will just change this adapter as a bridge and I'll go here and I'll just type ncpa.cpl. You can go here, go into properties, into IPv4 settings and just use all these default settings, getting the IP address. And if you will see here, See the details, see you will get the IP address from your home router. Now this machine will a part of your outside network. Now if you will go here, you can type here Google. Google.com. Now here you can basically download the Firefox. Now what we will try to download the Mozilla Firefox browser. Now you can click on download Firefox. Continue. It is a little bit old browser, a little bit, so that's the reason. Run. Click on run here. Click on yes, next, 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 install. Finished. Why I have done the install, like the installation of this Firefox because I need this particular Firefox browser 
for accessing the internet sometimes this like internet explorer is not good right this one so i will use this firefox browser so like that you can able to now you have a firefox you can download the other software as well if you want like you can download this gem this particular software we will use if you want to run the apache web services or ftp services right you can able to download this software as well download will start in some time right so now you can able to download everything see install it download is started it will take some time you can download the putty as well because you know putty is also very very popular software download this putty as well like in this xp machine right you have seen we have a couple of softwares right so in similar fashion you can download all of them here as well putty download is completed go here you can do the installation of putty so guys that's how we generally use our vms yes putty installation has been completed jamp is, is still going on because it will take some time it's a big file around 143 mb of file guys okay so meanwhile this download is going on let me just mute the recording for some time or let me just pause the recording sorry so guys you can see download is still going on so what i will do i will not wait for this download to complete because it will take lots of time okay so but i think now you got the idea how we have to download the softwares and other things right so this is how we have to do the installation of windows 7 and windows xp machine in your vmware workstation thank you guys